Hey, we're back on the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. We're going to do a fragrant offering, and I think it's called Start a Fire. Maybe we should be spoken, not unspoken. Righteous, not unrighteous. Sealed? No more. My lips are unsealed, and the envelope is open, and here it comes. Prophecy I never knew I had inside of me. Everything's about fire, right? Well, now we know how to create fire that's healthy new air. Jesus, the aroma, right? So with that, let's gather in our thoughts. We're in Jonah chapter 4. We're rounding it out. It's really, really important. So Jonah, who was totally saved and knew he was guilty, so he jumped in the water. He knew he was guilty. He got stoned. Totally went back because he forgot. Once we realize that we should just do it every day and stop doing that, that's our transition. And you'll drop your food and you'll drop your value of food. I don't really like flavors as much as I just want to be in feeling good about and then wake up and go to sleep. So now he's pissed because the other people repented and they got relenting or God relented from the disaster. Now here's the key sentence. They repented and God relented from the disaster that God, Hashem, Elohim, Master of Legions, had planned to do on them, and he did not do it. Oh, but he will, and it's called on earth as it is in heaven. So you can have your flashback now, or you can have your flashback later in front of everybody upstairs. At this point, I'd stop, turn, and go a different way. So, Jonah cries out in his new prayer, Please, Hashem, was this not my contention when I was still on my own soil? By the way, how do you hand down an inheritance from Abraham through Jacob, through Jesus? You give them the seed, put it in most good soil, and your crop will grow. Put the living water, the seed, the word of God inside the endocannabinoid system, add some living water, it'll grow into a new creation. That is the process of us being reborn anew. So Jonah says, because I hastened to flee to Tarshish, for I knew, Kene, Kana, no, Kene, knew. So no and knew is Kana and Kene. That's awesome referencing. You are Hashem, you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, and relent from doing harm. If you sit in sackcloth and ashes and make a sacrifice or a burnt offering, and you're consistent, and you do it because you want to serve, not because you are told by some person. You're prompted, your heart. So now, Hashem... Please take my soul from me, for better is my death than my life. Why did that sound like Jesus? Please take this cup from me. Please take this from me. Well, what are they trying to get rid of? Okay, well, Jesus is saying, take this cup from me. It's too much of a burden. I can't take it. I'm scared to death. I'm going to be killed. I don't know what it's like. And then and Jonah earlier on was like, oh, I'm the guilty party and I can be the offering to calm everything down. And now that the offering has come true, Jonah's pissed. It's a strange up and down scenario, but mankind has emotions. So we'll come back with another offering and we'll finish Jonah in chapter four with the leafy plant. Baruch Hashem, God bless.